One bat can eat up to thousands of insects every night, saving U.S. farmers up to $50 billion in insect control every year. Unfortunately, bats are dying by the millions from an invasive fungus that causes white nose syndrome. But there's still hope. We can all do something to help save the bats. Hi, I'm Madison Lyons. I go to school at Cranbrook, and my dad is the director of the Bat Film at the Cranbrook Institute of Science. I distinctly remember growing up in a household with two scientists and holding my first bat when I was only three years old. In fact, it was a baby vampire bat. That's the year I started creeping at Brookside. Ever since then, I love Cranbrook, nature, and especially bats. So let's talk a little more about bats. Bats are the only flying mammal, and there are more than 1,300 bat species in the world. They are insect-eating bats, as well as fruit-eating. They are bats that prey on small mammals, bats that drink blood, and even fish-eating bats. They can be found anywhere in the world except the polar regions and extreme deserts. Bats do so many great things for us. In addition to eating thousands of insects every night, they also pollinate and spread the seeds of many plants, such as banana, pineapple, agave, and cocoa that makes chocolate. Some bats have evolved an amazing sense of hearing. They emit high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects in their path and come back to them as an echo. This is called echolocation. From these echoes, bats can determine the size of objects, how fast they are traveling, and how far away they are. This is how bats can find their food, but also avoid colliding with objects during flight. It's kind of like being in a room that echoes. Raise your hand if you've ever been in a room like that. Okay, well you guys all know. So if you talk loudly in that room, your sound waves bounce off the walls and come back to you as an echo. It's like echolocation, except bats can fly 30 to 50 miles an hour in pitch darkness without running into anything. On the next slide, let's watch bat flying in slow motion and echolocating. Listen to see if you can hear the clicking noises you hear in the background. Okay, so that clicking noises, those were the echolocation. So the bat was sending out echoes to the moth, and the echo was bouncing off the moth and coming back to the bat, and then the bat can know where the moth was. There, we can't hear echolocation with our ears alone, but there are special devices, like the ones used in this video, that allow us to hear it. Over the winter, some bats hibernate in caves, like these bats here, and like most bats in Michigan. This is where white nose syndrome develops. White nose syndrome is an invasive fungus from Europe that kills more than a million bats every year. Thriving in caves and mines, it grows on bats' wings and noses and forces them to wake up too frequently during the winter. This causes them to use up all their fat storage that they stored up before the winter too quickly and eventually starve. As of now, there is no cure for white nose syndrome, but scientists are conducting experiments to help. But we all can do something, and we all need to do something to help save the bats. Imagine being swarmed by insects and bitten by mosquitoes from head to toe. Imagine pests wiping out agriculture across the country. If the decline in bats continues, these scary scenarios could be our reality. So then what can you do to help? Well, Organizations like the Organization for Bat Conservation and their Save the Bats, Save the Bats campaign is helping bats, but you can help too. You can put up a bat house, providing a safe environment where white nose syndrome does not occur, and also where bats can live and raise their babies is key to the survival and well-being of bats. You can also plant a bat garden. This will provide bats with healthy food to eat. In return, bats will eat many of your garden's pests. And lastly, educate. Spread the news about bats to your friends, family, and classmates, and what they can do to help. 
just like this little boy who made a lemonade stand to raise money for the bats and educate his neighbors. I hope now you realize what bats really are. Beneficial, amazing, and pretty cute. They are essential to our ecosystem and need to be protected. I hope now you will all go out and build bat houses, plant bat gardens, and contribute to helping to save the bats, just like this school in Denver, Colorado. When the teachers at Saban Elementary found out that the children there were afraid of bats, they decided to teach them about how great bats are. When the children found that out, they built bat houses to put up in their schoolyards and also give away to local schools. You can do something just as amazing. Because bats need us, and we need bats. You can find plans for bat houses and bat gardens at savethebats.org. Thank you.